We walked the hill. There was a little house out there. Men came out to pee <laughs> and smoke. We had to duck and wait. And of course, in those days, um, the Carl May movies, Vina 2 and all the about Americans, uh, they were very popular. And they were filmed in Yugoslavia. So we were pretending, oh, maybe they filmed over here. And, and you're, you're kind of, we weren't scared for whatever reason. <laughs> and, um, and uh, oh, just so you know, my mother and I were not wearing pants. <laughs> we only had skirts, no, no, no. And um, I was, uh, I guess at that time, I was 13, my brother was 11. And, uh, or my brother turned 12 the day we left Slovakia. And I turned 14 the, when we came to this country. But, um, uh, so we walked up the hill and uh, we walked quite a distance and down the road we saw the, uh, the checkpoint, the guardhouse, was way, way past us, at least a kilometer. And uh, there was a small light so you could see it. So we thought, wow, maybe we've, and suddenly there were lights, dogs, and people yelling at us and soldiers screaming at us. And it was, um, the soldiers had machine guns and uh, German shepherds. And luckily my mother yelled because they yelled Stoj Njemrdaj, which um, in Slovak is a very dirty word, but in, <laughs> in Slovenian it means don't move. <laughs> and um, and um, I think they must have yelled Kdotam or something like that. And my mother answered, you know, women and children. And luckily she did because they did not release the dogs. And they had machine guns, but also my mother kept yelling Italiano. She thought they were Italians. She was hoping they were Italians. They were not, unfortunately. Um, they took us back to that little house. And... Um, on the other side of the road, they caught a man who was Polish trying to escape. And these uh, soldiers were young kids. They were 18 to 21. They were kicking this man. They were beating him on the floor. Yes. And my brother and I, you know, in front of us, they were being stupid. They were being stupid young kids, basically. But they, they had the upper hand. They had the power. Um, they took him, a car came, they took him immediately, and I believe they took him all the way to Poland, and he, yeah, that was it, he went to prison. They had no idea what to do with us. They never had a woman with children try to escape through there, cross the border on foot. They apparently had a lot of men trying. Um, so they kept trying to call the nearby village, figure out what to do. Finally, they kept saying the car will come, nothing came. Finally, we had to walk back to the village.